Hey everyone, welcome back to the Microwave Lab. Today I wanted to test sort of an old wives' tale in radio that says that you shouldn't coil up your excess cable because it'll uh, hurt your SWR. And so I uh, have the equipment to test that, so I figured I'd, uh, I'd check it out. So I, right now I have the network analyzer set up in measuring in uh, SWR mode. So just to give you an idea of the scale here, SWR of 1 is obviously perfect. So um, what I have right now is I've got um, about 10 feet of RG58 cable hooked up with this uh, just terminated so we would expect an SWR of about one and um, the frequency span setup is the CB band from uh, I can get these in frame 26.965 megahertz on channel one up to 27.405 megahertz on channel 40 and uh, I have a marker set in the middle here at 27.205 megahertz which is channel 20 so uh, right now we're reading on this about 10 feet of cable and I just have it Laid out, laid out here on the table, um, the way it should, the way it's you're preached to uh, lay it out without any coils, coils or loops, just um, separate and all by itself. And so we're measuring SWR of 1.051 something something. So what I'm going to do now is just uh, coil the uh, coil this wire up around my hand, and we'll uh, form a big loop, and we'll see, uh, or a bunch of loops rather, and we'll see how that affects the SWR. All right, so here's the cable all coiled up. I was gonna just hold it, but I remember that the human body have, has a capacitive nature to it, so that might have thrown off our value. So I just used some uh, twist ties here, and this is about um, I don't know, maybe a four-inch diameter circle here. And so let's take a look at our SWR, and uh, it really didn't change all that much. I think it might have even gone down a little bit. I don't remember the old value off the top of my head, but uh, you know, interesting uh, result. So by all conventional wisdom our SWR should have gone up um, so maybe there's more to the story let me find a longer cable and we'll uh, try this again all right now I've hooked up about 20 feet or so of cable I've just got it laid out here this is a little bit thinner than that RG58 this is um has SMA connectors on here this is probably a little bit thin for um, for radio power but anyway it should serve our should serve our purpose so I've got once again terminated with a, a 50 ohm termination so I'll come over here to the meter and uh, or the network analyzer and once again we're measuring SWR 1.01 about 1.017 so now I'll coil this up and we'll uh, we'll see how she fares so here's that same cable all coiled up and we'll take a look at our measurement and it went up by a whopping 0 0.001 so now we're at one point zero one eight flat uh, just about so what does this all mean well there, I have no evidence here in this test to suggest that uh, coiling up your cable will hurt your SWR um, at least not at, at CB frequencies maybe at other frequencies it has more of an effect um, but if you're using good cable it should be shielded well it means your signal won't be won't be getting out anywhere um, but what I would say is that you don't want to coil up cable like this because this is how you could induce noise onto the cable because uh, when you have inductance and you create an EMF with the signal and the uh, that's a more advanced concept but um, yeah so with a coil that's how noise could be introduced uh, or other unwanted <laughs> noise could be in induced onto your uh, onto your wires so that's why you'd want to you'd probably want to avoid, avoid loops and uh, obviously it's not because of the SWR that didn't really change all that much at least at, at this frequency so uh, probably not a good habit but uh, to coil up your cable but uh, the obviously the SWR effect is not uh, nearly as pronounced if at all if, if it even exists at all that uh, people make it out to be so uh, hopefully you learned something here I certainly did so uh, that's all for now and uh, thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video